Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today, following another deck on the five decks of Mega Evolution thing I've been doing. Yesterday, we did our Arduino deck. I changed my thumbnail, but I got Photoshop. So, we'll see how long I can use Photoshop on my computer for. I don't know if it's a free trial or not. You'll, I don't know, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to go back to the old thumbnail font, so we'll see what. Uh, I like the thumbnail font I've been using. Nice, big, bold. Got the backdrops really nice, so there you go. But today, guys, we're gonna look at a Houndoom deck, and I wanted to do a fire deck that wasn't Volcanian, too, because the thing is, there's a lot of Decidueye and a lot of Lorantis and Standard right now, especially Decidueye, because of the whole hype with the whole Decidueye being a really good deck. So I went with Mega Houndoom, and I saw Yellow Swallow's video on this, and I was like, ah, let's take that. I mean, he made that video a while ago. Maybe this deck can still shine in Standard. Who knows? Um, but I mean, with Water Box, Volcanian, it's a little tough, but it's still a good deck nonetheless in some situations, right? So, there you go. I mean, it's a fun idea. So, the goal of the deck basically is to use Houndoom. Now, Mega Houndoom, not only is it a sick looking full art, it's a good card, okay? It's not the worst, but it's not the best, but it's good. Two fires, you do 80, then you discard all fires if you want, and then do 160. So, it's only 160, you're not knocking out a normal EX, unless it's like Nagirna or something like that. But... The, draw, the good thing is, is you can use two different ways to make this even better. The first way is going to be the Weavile Balloon Combo, which is what we're going to be focusing on. Weavile can tear off your Houndoom Spirit Link, and then you put a Bursting Balloon on your Houndoom. And then with the Bursting Balloon that'll be on your Houndoom, basically, when they, you, they'll have 160 damage on them. If they want to attack your Houndoom, they're most likely going to get knocked out. That is huge. Even if they retreat, they're still going to have 160 damage on them. It's like, ah, just get picked that off for later. So Bursting Balloon makes all the difference in this deck. The other cool card in this is Burning Energy. Burning Energy is a huge player in this deck. With Burning Energy, when you use it, okay, when it's on a Pokemon, you don't have to discard it when you have to when you have this on for an attack that makes you discard energy, like you know, make a Houndoom's attack. So if you have two Burning Energies on your Houndoom, technically you don't have to discard any energy, right? It's, you're doing 160 for free. That is insane. Well, not for free, but for no, with no drawbacks. That is insane, and. That is awesome, and that just keeps the pressure going, because with Burning Fang, you know, there's no blacksmith, so we can't blacksmith the energy back on, you're just forced to use one normal fire, and then, like, another normal fire, and then you gotta power it up for two turns, even make a turbo, it's a little slow. Burning Energy says, nope, you don't have to discard me at all, and it's just super, super good, and it can be really good. Again, like, it literally makes it so that even if you only have one Burning Energy on, you're only attacking 160 for one energy, if that makes sense, so it's really powerful. And that's going to help us with our Houndoom so we keep attacking every single turn. It's just nuts. It makes it so we do 160 every turn, right? So, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's how it's going to work. Weavile basically tear off the Spirit Link. You can put the Spirit Link on a Houndoom on the bench. Then we put a Balloon on our active Houndoom. And it's just, your opponent's just, they don't want to attack you because they'll get knocked out. Even if they switch and try to attack with something else, then they'll get knocked out with another thing. So it, the math is just perfect. And that's why we got the 2-2 two -two Weavile's. A normal Houndoom is a good attacker too, right? You know, early game, Melting Horn isn't that bad. Even late game, you know, if you're playing against a deck like Vespaquin, you can maybe, like, I don't know, try and trap something and, like, just Melting Horn your opponent, make them lose some of their, uh, you know, cards, deck stuff out. It's not impossible to win the game by using Melting Horn over Burning Fang, so you never know. Uh, two Shamans for your typical draw support. One Hoopa. Hoopa's great in these decks where you can just poop Hoopa down, grab a couple Houndoom, spot on your bench. It's a really good ability. So that's all our Pokemon. We got 14, 2 2 Weavile, all that good stuff. We do run one Eco Arm. Eco Arm allows us to get back our Bursting Balloon so that we keep having Bursting Balloons to use so that we don't really run out. So that's what we got, my boy Eco Arm. One Level Ball. I like Level Ball over Nest Ball because it allows you to also grab Weavile since Weavile has 90 HP. So you can Level Ball for either Sneasel or Weavile. Try to get them out early game because you want to try and get them out as quick as possible. So we're going to be playing one Level Ball for that. One special charge. Since burn energy is really, really important, we need to make sure we still have some burn energies left. So we are going to be playing one special charge so that we can get our burn energies back and keep using them. It's really important. One super odd to get back either like your Houndoom or maybe some energy. That could be important, right? To get back a few basic energies. So we are going to be brought in a super rod in the deck. We got one switch. I really like using switch now because it's really good and when like you're playing against Espeon and when they side beam you or like when your opponent uses you know Lapras and Ice Beam GXs you. So I am going to be running one switch in this deck for those reasons. For mail, so that we can grab our items like, you know, the spirit links, the balloons, all that good stuff. It's really important to make sure we get those early on. For Ultra Ball, you know, your standard searching card, for VS Seeker for your supporters. I went to Sound Lab. I didn't really think of any other good stadiums for the deck. I know Scorched Earth isn't bad, but 
you, you kind of have to discard your energy, which I don't really like doing, so I went with Tucson Lab. It's just a really good card. It shuts down a lot of good decks like Volcanion and you know, all those decks like you Shaman and like a Rangaroo, stuff like that. So we're going to be running two labs in this deck. It's good on the first turn too, right? You can shut down Shamans really quickly for your opponent, slow them down, force them to have to get a stadium, which might not be easy for them to do, right? One Lysander, I don't think he, I mean, he could find Rupert too, but I also don't think he need two. I mean, you're knocking stuff out anyways with 160. It's not a big deal. Three ends and four Sycamore for your standard draw support. We do Ramon Kyuki. I love Kyuki in this deck because you can actually do 180 damage with Burning Fang and just over 160. It's a good ha thing to have. And also, I mean, if you really need a way to knock out Lunala and, like, I don't know, Sogaleo GX if they have a weakness policy, there you go. You play the Kyuki, 180 damage, and then they attack into the Bursting Balloon, and they get knocked out. So that is pretty cool. I mean, that's just something to think of, right? So we are going to be running one Professor Kyuki in the deck for that reason alone. So it's also nice to drop two cards. Way better than Giovanni's scheme. Four Balloons, again, we went over this so that our Houndooms, you know, they want to attack in the Houndoom that you just, you know, they just took 160. They want to attack in the Houndoom, boom, they get knocked out. Simple, easy peasy, one tweezy. Yeah, we got one Floatstone. Floatstone is great with Tearaway because you could literally keep this Floatstone going forever, right? You don't have to put on something that gets knocked out. You just, all right, well, I'll just trap this Pokemon, and eh, you're not going to be able to switch. All right, I'll just float that Pokemon with Tearaway, and then, you know, it's just really good. Three Spirit Links. Obviously, we need these, so we'll turn to the end of the Houndoom. That would be terrible. Four Burning Energies. We're going to run the max amount, obviously. And then we got a total of six basic fires in the deck. I like having six fires. I think that's a decent amount. So this is the Mega Houndoom Weavile deck here. And uh, we're going to go try it out. See if we can burn some opponents. And a giant Hell Doggo is going to destroy some decks. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I'll see you guys in a few games with our deck. Can we get in action? Let's find out. All right, here we go. Let's go find another match with our Houndoom deck, and uh, you know we'll have some fun with it. And uh, can we play against the Grass deck, please? All right, now looks like we are probably gonna be playing against my boy Mewtwo. Mewtwo. I mean, that's not a bad matchup per se. Mewtwo. I mean, you never know. I mean, we're only releasing like one to two energies at a time, so I don't really think this is too bad. Depending if it is Mewtwo or not. Uh, Bursting Bloom could be a big, big player in this matchup, but does run probably Gar Garbodor, right? So, all right, you know what? We have a pretty decent start. We can start with Houndoom. We're not going first, unfortunately, because my Toted Alcoin just does not like me today. So, we're gonna have to just, I mean, we can melt more. Oh, starts with Talon. Hmm. This might be Lunala then. Yeah, I mean, he plays Psychic Energy, unless this is like a different kind of Mewtwo. You know, this could be like Mewtwo Talon. I, I mean, I've never seen that before, but you never know. Alright, just passes. Okay, we even get a Hoopa. We'll do the Hoopa first. Grab. I guess. Uh, maybe I mean, I should have mailed first. We'll grab. Uh, let's see what's in the deck first. Do we have an. How many Houndooms are Two. Alright, we'll just grab the two Houndooms, I guess. You know, I was gonna grab a Mega. I should have. If I did mail first, uh, maybe that would have been a better play. But. Who cares? Let's just drop down our Houndooms. Let's go with mail. And. Okay, nothing. Alright, well. That mail did not work. So, we will, I, I guess we'll just Ultra Ball, grab a Sneasel, get rid of N, and just, I mean, we're going to Shaman for 6, maybe Shaman is going to bless us with a Via Seeker or a Sycamore or something like that, so, I mean, we'll go for it. I don't really know what kind of deck he's playing, though. So, let's go with the Shaman. What are we going to get? Alright, thank God I didn't get Sycamore, that would have been horrendous. We can actually just do this. Uh, should we balloon? Mmm. I guess. I mean, it wouldn't kill us. We can. No, we will not remember anything. We'll do the balloon anyways. I don't know how relevant that is. But we only have two Houndoom Spirit Links, so I don't, I don't really feel safe in drawing into them, right? So, yeah, see? Told you. I wasn't gonna draw into them. We might even have to spend a turn at Mega Evolving, which I don't actually mind. So let's just Melting Horn, and maybe we can get a peek at what kind of deck this is. Uh, Fairy Energy. Okay, is this Mega Gardevoir? Because Fairy, obviously, make no, but he's not Fairy. All right, we see a Mewtwo EX coming down. I guess this is Mewtwo Y then, and we see a Skyla too. We'll see what my opponent grabs with the Skyla. Parallel. All right, we'll just get rid of Hoopa and Shaman, which I don't even want to have on my bench anyway, so that is fine by me. Thank you for helping me get rid of two cards I didn't need. I mean, we don't really need anything else on the bench anymore, so uh, thanks a lot. So we see a double colorless going on Mewtwo. I mean, that's not really that scary. There's a puzzle of time. Even if it's a double, he's only... I eh, can get a fairy. I don't know if that's even relevant, though. It might just be a single one, but I don't know why you would do a single when you can arrow. Oh, draw more cards with Shaman. There you go. 
Alright, so he's gonna set up for four. Hmm. Okay, now with this hand, I might honestly, I'm tempted just to Mega Evolve. He's only doing 40, so it's not like he's making my Houndoom take like 50 million damage, so uh, seems good. Uh, maybe throw in a Center Lady in this deck, I mean, that wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, we don't have an end, unfortunately. That would be nice. Obviously, when your opponent arrow blitzes, you want to end them so they don't have the cards they get. So, yeah. Hey, never mind. You know what? Speak of the devil. Hmm. We know he took two cards, so that's the problem. We yeah, 70. We could knock him out, but I don't think we need to. I might just generally just go for the end. And just hope I get a Houndoom, man. I mean, I gotta do it. We might as well. If not, we can just do Grand Flame and hit him. Alright, we got it. We even got a Spirit Link. Okay, this hand is good. I'm trying to think of how we can make it work, though. We can get rid of... I guess we're gonna have to get rid of the float. We have Eco Arm, though, I guess. So it's not really the end of the world, so... Hmm. Yeah, we got him, man. We gotta get the Houndoom going, so... Yeah, we can't play Shaman, unfortunately, since uh, he's got the Parallel City Lock, so we'll grab this. We can just hound him the bench, and we can just evolve the active. So now my opponent wants to attack me, take 60. Obviously, he will survive, though, because he's got 130, so he won't get knocked out. But we are going to be able to get a hound him in play. If we had a Lysander, that'd be really clutch. We could knock out that Shaman or put some pressure on that Mewtwo. We'll see if he does an Arrow Blitz. He obviously lost those two cards that he uh, grabbed, so... He might go for another Arrow Blitz here. I mean, that wouldn't actually be the worst play. And he actually Center Ladies, man. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because we're still going to knock him out. But, uh, still, 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 you know. I mean, honestly, I, I'm actually kind of glad he played the Center Lady on the Talon Flame, to be honest with you. Because then I actually would have canceled our Bursting Balloon, so. I don't mind. Alright, can we get another N? Nah, we do get an energy, so we can just spread this out. We can go with the Sycamore Man, and let's see, what are we going to find? We do find Silent Lab, so we can lock my opponent. One thing I did just realize, he didn't do the Parallel City where he makes me do less damage, so I don't really know what's going on there. So, I guess we just Inferno Fang. We don't have to discard any energy because we're already knocking him out, so we can take a prize. Let's see what we're going to get. Got another energy, alright, that's cool. We got a burn in our hand, so... Uh, we, we can burn in energy if he ever, like, enhanced hammers. Well, I'm not going to get knocked out. DCE, you still can't attack with the Mewtwo unless you Mega Evolve. Oh, God. And an Evo Soda. Did that just happen? Hey, Hex Maniacs, but it's not really a big deal. Wish we had a balloon on. Oh, my God. That is just... I can't believe he pulled that off. That is actually kind of bothersome. I am actually a little worried right now, guys. Not gonna lie. We're gonna have to end him, man. We gotta find another Houndoom. We don't get it. This could be bad. This Mewtwo might actually be able to steamroll me. Hmm. If we had Weavile, we could have put the balloon on. Uh, that's so bad. Hmm. Alright, well, first things first. I guess we'll Super Rod. We'll get back Shaman. Just in case he gets rid of our Parallel. We'll get back a Houndoom. And we'll get back a Mega Houndoom, I guess. We gotta get back our attackers. If we had Weavile, man, this would be perfect. But we don't, so we're gonna have the Inferno Fang and hit him. I don't think he can knock us out, though, because we are getting rid of our energy, right? So we only have one on now, so. He's getting maybe. If he plays another DC, though, I am done. But hopefully that end of four screwed him over a little bit. See another Mewtwo going down. Ugh, Mewtwo, man, it's, it's rough, but I mean, as long as it's not taking the one shots, right? I mean, next turn, we do have a lot of good stuff. We can double burn energy to Houndoom, and then not have to discard a single energy. But I'm probably just going to attach a normal fire energy, though. We don't have to discard any energy, either. So, looks like he's going for the fire energy on the Mewtwo. And we'll see what else he's going to go for. Just, I guess, a Psychic Infinity. Won't knock us out. Hope, I mean, hopefully I'm doing the math right. But I'm pretty sure it's not knocking me out. I'm pretty sure we're safe. So, there is the Psychic Infinity. We should survive. Yep, 160. Alright, so this is where Center Lead would be nice. Okay, not really the topic I was hoping for, but, uh, whatever. Okay, so we'll have to do this. We'll double burning. We'll balloon. This Mewtwo ain't knocking out either. It's only doing 30, so we'll survive. Let's go with the Inferno Fang, and uh, might as well just do the extra damage. Why not? 160, I mean, we're not losing our burning energies, unless, like, for some weird reason we are. Alright, so we can take two prizes. Let's see, what do we find? Okay, this hand got a lot better. It went from... 
Zero. Two hundred. So we actually brings out Shaman. So I guess he'll Sky Return me, but that's fine. Uh, ooh, Escape Rope. We don't have Float. Alright, I'll bring a Weep Owl, I guess. We'll just retreat. I mean, we still have the energy in play. I would like to power up that Hound Doom, too. But, whatever. I don't mind. He's only doing ten damage, too. So, I mean, he is dodging the Balloon, but I'm fine with that. Get another Hound Doom. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Get that pun? No, you don't. Alright, so... We'll fire the active, which sadly we do have to pay one to retreat, but uh, I'm fine with that. We're not going to get knocked. I might even just knock out the Shaman, to be honest with you. But, I mean, we might as well. I mean, we're not discarding any energy, so I feel like it's okay just to, you know, do the damage to the Mewtwo. If we're not discarding any energy. Uh, if he tops us like a, a way to get a Mewtwo in play, that could be bad. But if not, um, we are fine. So there's a switch into Shaman. Alright, and oh, he did get a Sycamore, but he already switched, so he's gonna have to find an energy that's barely gonna mute you to retreat, which, knowing my luck will happen. Alright, we see a Fairy Drop, still knock him out in one hit anyway, so it's not a big deal. Another Fairy Drop, we're still knocking him out in one hit, not a big deal. <laughs> not a big deal, it's a weird deck though, like what the heck. Talonflame, Fairy Drop, Psychic Energy, what am I playing against? We can still knock him out though. So, there you go, look at that. Alright, nice. We even had a Switch, would've been nice to have had that earlier when the Escape Rope happened, but hey, you know what? We're just gonna Inferno Fang, and I'm gonna hold off on that Burn Energy just so we can win the game next turn, because you never know, right? Like, he could hammer me, and then we'd lose our Burn Energy, and then we'd have to, you know, attach or wait for a tower, or get a second more, but he might end me. But honestly, I think we have the win at this point. Like, we just need one prize left, so I think we should be fine. There's a Ninja Boy, oh god. Ninja oh, I thought that was gonna go into a Tauros for a sec, and then he could've Horn attacked me. Well, that would've been the case. Alright, so we're not going to be able to win next turn, but we basically are in a good shape right now. Like, I just... I don't even want the Hound of Spirit Link because that's just more cards I don't really need, right? So, let's go with the Sycamore. It would have been nice to attack with the Maybe I should have attacked the Energy, but again, I didn't predict the Ninja Boy. So, there's a Balloon. So, it's like, hey, you want to attack me next turn? You're going to get knocked out. So, let's just burn this level ball. Grab a Sneasel. Just, you know, get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. I guess we could put down Sneasel, it doesn't really matter to be honest, so let's go with the Inferno Fang and hit him for 160, 130, sorry because I've got a Photon Wave, but that does not mean anything because Bursting Balloon will knock him out, if he wants to attack me with Photon Wave, he'll get knocked out with Bursting Balloon, and then we win the game, there's a Skyla, if he plays three Fairy Drops, I'm gonna cry, we're still gonna win the game because we have the Hound him on the bench, but <laughs> that'd be hilarious. If he fairy drops one more time, I'm going to laugh. Hopefully he doesn't. Let's see. Alright, what is this guy gonna get him? I mean, the worst thing I could get him is a hammer, so we can get rid of thing, but nothing. You just feel like. So I guess he's gonna think that I don't have an energy and evolve into Mewtwo. That doesn't really matter though. He's still not you know, he's not getting knocked out. No, yes. He he's gonna live, but we win the game. It was actually a kind of intense match. I mean, once he got that first Mewtwo going, I was actually like, oh, am I going to lose the game? But no, my boy Houndoom, you can just see how good this is. I mean, with the two burning energy, you know, the scarring, you're just doing 160 a turn for two energy. That seems like a good deal to me. And uh, let's just take the knockout. My opponent concedes before we can even take the knockout. Rip in the chat. We get another tourney ticket. We get the 35 coins from our daily fire challenge, which is pretty cool. You know, I have that fire challenge going on. But now we got Okay, we're gonna keep hunting for these Houndoom games, man. Giant oversized doggo, give us the strength to find a grass deck or something, man. Alright, a dragon deck, I'm fine with that. I um, mean, he doesn't have a shaman from the looks of it, so this could be fine. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's actually, he's got that A with the little things on top. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of edgy. No, I'm just joking, it's not edgy. But, oh, we win the coin flip, so turn two Houndoom height, possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's see. What does this give us? Alright, that's a, eh, this hand's not too bad, I guess. Uh, depends on what kind of dragon deck it is. Giratina might actually be pretty bad, because we might have to attack with Grand Flame, which is pretty awful. We don't have Hex Maniac in this deck, so that's something you could consider adding, even though we do have Bursting Balloon, so... I don't know, I mean, we can take advantage of the Balloons and the Houndoom's attack if it is going to be Giratina. We'll see if it is or not, though. Like, Giratina could be pretty bad. He probably does. Hopefully, it's like Salamence, too. I actually back. We're relying on EXs to attack, so who knows? Maybe it's something else. It is. Okay, now. Hopefully, these two males can hit us something, so. Level Ball for Sneasel. Alright, we have all our Houndooms. Everything looks sweet. Alright, we're missing a Houndoom Spearlink, though, again. So it looks like our Houndoom Spearlinks are just like, nah, let's just stay prized. So let's go with a Trainer's Mail. Alright, we do get N, which is nice. 
Alright, so let's go with another trainer's mail, see if we can hit a Houndoom Spirit Link. And we get an Ultra Ball, which I guess we'll play. We can Ultra Ball and grab Shaman, I guess, so that's cool. Let's go Ultra Ball, get rid of the N and the Via Seeker. And I mean, we could grab Hoopa too, but I don't really think we need to. We'll just grab Shaman instead. And uh, we'll Bursting Balloon, the Bench Town Doom. And we'll go with the Shaman, set up for 5, and let's see what this gives us. Can we get anything good? Uh, no energies or no spirit links. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll float the Shay. We'll play the Sign Lab down, even though. You know, right, that's actually one of our only ways to be Giratina, I just realized. So uh, there you go. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Let's go with N. Can we find a spirit link and some energy? Alright, we do get the energy. No spirit link, though, but we can still get one possibly next turn. So it's not the end of the world. So we'll put the fire on just in case, you know, with a hammer. Enhanced hammer, so we'll pass. So our start's not looking too bad. We can't play the hoop, unfortunately. So we'll probably just ultra ball hoop away, grab another houndoom, put another houndoom, or we top deck a spirit link. We can grab another houndoom spirit. Link. We can get a mega houndoom going. So anything is possible, and we'll see how this goes. We are playing against a Haxor stack from the looks of it. He might play one Giratina. He might even run Salamence EX. So we gotta watch out for those two cards. Uh, but you know what? Haxor's only, I think, has 160 HP, so we're one shot him with Mega Houndoom. My boy Mega Houndoom is just, like, eating up these giant dragons with giant scythes on them. So, Lucky Helmet on the active. Okay. A medal to the bench. Alright, what else are you gonna do? Is he gonna end me? No, we see Professor Kyuki. If he gets an energy, he can do 30. So, that's there. So, just a pass. Alright. Hey, We called that top deck, too. That's funny. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of a Weavile, but I don't really- I mean, we're gonna one-shot these Haxorses anyways, most likely, so. Weavile, I don't even know if it's even that important, so. Oh no, we do have one Houndoom patch, never mind, so. Look at that, we can grab my boy Mega Houndoom, the big bad doggo. The giant dog of dog hellness, it's literally a dog from hell. And we'll go with the N, give my opponent a new hand, and plus the Lucky Helmet. So, you know what, I'm being nice to you, I'm giving you eight new cards here, so. You better thank me, Kappa. Alright, so we do get the Weavile too, which is cool. Our hand's kind of dead, though, after that, but we do have energy to work with, so it's fine. As long as we can keep steamrolling him, it's all good. So we can just do Infernal Flame. We don't want to discover the energy because we're not really... We don't need to. So we're already knocking him out for 80, so we can take a prize, and we get another Spirit Link, which is awesome. Even though we had Weavile, which I actually just realized I forgot to do Weavile last turn. But, whatever. It's all good. He has a huge hand, though, again. He has, like, 8 cards, so... And teammates. So he's definitely gonna be able to get the Hatchers in place. Probably just gonna grab Rare Candy and a Double Dragon Energy. He's not knocking me out. Mega Houndoom has a lot of HP, which is the good thing. So we can survive. Plus, we can just one shot him. Just like another Pokemon down, we basically could win the game. Unless, like, he grabs, like, an Enhanced Hammer or something. Uh, so there's one Candy. So he is gonna be able to get the Hatchers in play. And he might have grabbed a Double Dragon so that he can attack me. Or, no, he can grab an Energy in general. There's a level, so he's gonna be able to get another X going. So. 130, but he has to discard the top three cards, which could play into a huge role with nothing more. Uh, he's not gonna Dragon Dance because he knows he's getting knocked out. He's gonna have to just take the Dragon Pulse and hit me for 130. But then we can just manually build up another Houndoom. So he's gonna grab his energies in before he puts a Metal Energy on. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. So he's gonna do 130. It's a giant chunk of damage. It's a huge chunk of damage, but he, he loses. Ooh, like double Dragon, everything. Jeez. I'm gonna attach Normal Fire. The reason I'm doing this is because we kind of need it, so let's go with Tear Away, Tear Off that Spirit Link, hold on to it for now. Actually, no, we put that on in case we get end. Uh, so I can't play Shaman, so we're just going to Inferno Fang and take the knockout. Luckily, Houndoom does 160 on the dot. If you had Bursting Balloon, then obviously you'd be in more trouble. He's probably going to be able to have the Hactress going, but hmm, we're going to need another Houndoom going too. He can, yeah, he can double dragon knock me out, possibly. We're gonna need to get their Houndoom going, because if not, this could go downhill very quickly. We have the right cards. Trainer's Mail came in clutch, so maybe Trainer's Mail will give me, like, a Sycamore or something. So, no, we actually see an Evil Soda, so he's not gonna be able to take a knockout this turn. That means we can take the knockout, so, that's cool. He can do 20, but that's not gonna knock me out. Kyuki, ah, he can do 40, but that's still only knocking my boy Houndoom out. He still needs to find a Pokemon, which he doesn't, so we win the game. 40... He almost came close to taking out this Houndoom, but he concedes. It's rough times for the Houndoom player. Uh, let me, I'm gonna check out. Did he have Giratina's deck? No, it was straight up 4-4. Four, 4-4? Four. Four, four, four fractures, really? It's a lot of fractures, so. We're getting really close. Maybe we can buy another Sun and Moon pack. I, I mean, I should be saving up for Shop Bundle. But 
but my boy Houndoom just doesn't give up with the fight. We're gonna keep pouncing on some pokies with Houndoom. Hopefully we don't play against another deck that plays non-EXs. I want to play against an EX deck to show off like the brutalness of taking an EX in one huge hit. So that'd be cool. Or a grass deck. Lorantis Decidueye specifically. Nope, an all-colors deck. Alright, don't know what to expect, but uh, it's gonna be actually like an Aerodactyl deck, because I have seen some Aerodactyl hype recently in Standard, so could be that. We'll see. Probably plays like maybe Winona to like cycle and get a bunch of the uh, colors Pokemon to play. We win the coin flip, which is cool. He probably might run Altaria, I don't know. Could be Mega Ray. Doesn't have Koopa, so I'm feeling hopeful. So uh, maybe if he mulligans, we can find out. I feel like he will mulligan. We have to mulligan, though, but uh, whatever. So we'll find out what my opponent is playing here in just a sec. But I mean, this deck is fun, right? You know, you play against if you play against the right matchup, it's good, right? Like just anything that Houndoom can hit for weakness, like Grass, and just anything that you can take huge one-hit knockouts from 160, it just this deck can have some fun. So there you go. All right, another Mulligan, man. Another Mulligan. It's giving him some extra cards. Hopefully, we can end then off of this hand that we can probably get. Another mulligan. Alright, game, look. I don't know what I did to you to deserve this. Okay, I thought we were gonna mulligan. Oh, we didn't get the shaman, though. We're not the shaman in the uh, end. But whatever. We're giving him a couple of cards, but whatever. As long as it's nothing too serious, then I think it's okay. But we are giving him, like, three extra cards, so he's gonna have a bigger hand. But who knows? Maybe that can backfire, and he has to do a sycamore and dump all those cards. That could be really fun. I've actually had that happen before, where, like, I've mulliganed a bunch of times, and my opponent had to, like, play a Sycamore to get rid of his hand. It's actually pretty fun. Pidgeot. Okay, I'm fine with this. We got QB, so. We'll float this. We'll go Sycamore. Man, I really wish we could not do that, but we gotta, gotta go for it. Didn't really get anything off that either. Hmm. Alright, uh, we'll get rid of eco arm and a hound doom i guess we could have gotten rid of switch too maybe that was a bit of a misplay on my end but whatever we'll grab hoopa and we will drop the hoopa and we'll probably just get two hound dooms and a shaman seems pretty good to me folks seems pretty good so let's grab shaman and dubleo houndoomio and i actually no you know what i'll do because i'll get the weavile and play next turn i think i'm gonna actually switch into shaman when i play it down just so, like, our Hound doesn't take damage. I don't think it will with Mirror Move, but you never know, right? You never know. So, yeah, because then we can just Weave Owl, put the Float on the Shaman, so it's all good. So, might as well just do that. You never know. Maybe my opponent will, like, switch and, like, drop down a Lukia and hit me for 60. So, yeah, you know, it's, all, it's just, it's good to play safe, folks. It's good to play safe. Looks like it is a Mirror Move deck. He Belses, too. That's a little annoying, but whatever. He doesn't play Mega Pidgey off the most of it. He actually grabs an N. I mean, that kind of shuts my plan down a little bit. He's gonna have to end his huge hand away, which, I mean, as long as he's not playing down a bunch of crucial cards that he drew off of those cards, then I'm fine. But, I mean, this hand is, we don't have to make a Houndoom, actually, so, whatever. And, we're gonna get a new hand. We'll, can we get the Houndoom Spear Link, a Weavile, and a bunch of other crazy stuff? I hope we do. I like keeping the special charge, too, so I guess that's not bad. Alright, look at that, we actually, oh, we don't get the Houndoom Spear Link, though, I just realized. I mean, we can afford to sacrifice Shaman. He's not knocking us out anyway, so. It's not too bad. Hey, hey, the top decks are just like, boy, you know it. I know you need it, so there you go. We're gonna have to dump a mail. I'm fine with that. We'll have to hit him heavy, but, you know, Mirror Moon doesn't knock us out in return, so it's not a big deal. So let's go Trainer's Mail, we'll grab ourselves the Weevilio, and here we go. We're about to have some pretty fun turns. If we get, like, Bursting Moon stuff, that'd be beautiful. I don't know if he plays Max Potion or not. If he doesn't, that's also gonna be good. Ooh, another Hound and Spear Link. I didn't get a Balloon, though. We'll sign Labum though. Probably does run Shaman because he plays Colorless. Let's go Trainer's Mail. Hey! Yo, this game is like, boy, I know you need I know you need the stuff and things for you to work. So there you go. We're pulling off all kinds of crazy stuff. We'll put that float stone onto the active Shaman. And we will retreat into Houndoom. But we ain't stopping there, folks. No, no, no. We're gonna float the Hoopa just because it's unlikely to get knocked out, right? So might as well. That float stone is gonna be really important. So there you go. We'll do another they're tear away. We're not even done with Weavile. My boy Weavile is just <laughs> tearing away at everything. So we can still put the Spear Link on that. We can still Balloon the Active. And finally, we get Inferno Fang. 460. It's a lot of damage, but this way, if he wants to mirror move me, he will get knocked out from the first team balloon. And then we will win the game unless he doesn't pull one down. So we are in a good spot. No matter what, if he wants to mirror move me, which he's probably tempted to do that, he's gonna have to get knocked out. Ah, oh, there's a Winona. 
So we can finally see what other attackers he plays. Which I'm actually happy about, but at the same time, I want to get this game over with. But I don't mind, whatever. Longer game, longer stuff. He runs Toro, so... He doesn't play, like, Guard or anything, which is kind of surprising. He plays Fairy, which might mean he plays Fairy Drop. That might actually disrupt me a little bit, but... Whatever. So he's going to belt the Tauros. That's a little annoying. There's a Max Elixir. Hmm. And he hits an Energy, too, man. That Tauros, man. I hate Tauros so much. That card is so annoying. So Mirror Move. So he is willing to lose his Pidgeot, which is fine by me. So we can take ourselves two prizes. And, alright, we get Burning Energy. We don't need that right now, though. Uh, so the annoying thing is the stupid Tauros is in the way. He ha he ha oh, we could have knocked it out, man, if it didn't belt it. But no, he concedes the game. Never mind. <gasps> Never mind. Ooh, we even get 25 coins. Houndoom, you are a legend and a half. You are a legend and a half. But you know what? I will find one more match with our Houndoom deck. It won't kill us. It doesn't really. really it won't kill us the final game. We could buy a Sun and Moon pack, which I'll do. And it's got to be against a water deck, like... Alright, let's go. We're gonna go get another game with our Houndoom deck, man. Just, we're gonna keep going. Why not? We'll do one more game, I mean. The only, the only games we got were really quick, so we might as well get one more game and see if we can actually find a game against a grass deck, because there's, there should be more grass right now, but there ain't. Alright, now, we're probably playing against Dark Red Giratina, so I'm fine with that. Hopefully he doesn't play Salamence. Salamence could be bad, because again, we have all these DXs, but if not, ah, oh, we lose the coin flip, man. Houndoom, why you gotta do this? I gotta do this. So, alright, it looks like we're gonna mull. So, he's gonna mull again too. We can take a peek at what he's got. Alright, a bunch of males. He plays Reverse Valley, so that cancels out our Silent Lab, which we're gonna need the Silent Labs for the Giratina, so we gotta be ready for that. We gotta be ready for the, uh, the Giratina. If he plays, might actually run like weird or stuff like Latios and Hydreigon. You never know. You never know with this game, so. There you go. Alright, so I think this matchup could be iffy. We might have to sacrifice a Sneasel early on, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, look at that. We actually have a decent hand. I'll take it. I'll take it. We get the Sneasel start. We get the Houndoom on the bench. We got two balloons. So we could double balloon the two just in case, unless we get a Houndoom spirit line. I don't think it would balloon, but I'm rambling. So here we go. Darkrai. Darkrai, Darkrai. This is why I want to play more Zygarde. I might, I'm probably going to make a Zygarde video in the, like, next week, just because Zygarde is really good right now in standard. He misses a Max Elixir. That is huge. That is huge. Mail. Another Max Elixir. If you miss two Max Elixirs with a Darkrai deck, I'm going to be happy. He's probably not. He's probably going to hit this. But maybe we're lucky and he doesn't. Oh, uh -huh. man. You whip the first one. And he does Lily 2 for 5. Ugh. Blah, blah. Just a pass. Okay, fine by me. Okay, we can burn energy that. I want to end him, though, too. So let's go Trainer's Mail. Spirit Link or end would be great. Uh, I don't want any of those. Don't want any of those. We'll balloon the bench just in case, like, escape or something. So let's go Sycamore. Alright, what do we get? Hmm. Alright, so I think we'll get rid of a Kyuki. We'll get rid of Sycamore. We're going to Shaman, so it's fine by me. We will grab ourselves a Hoopa EX. I was thinking of grabbing another Sneasel. Um, but whatever. We'll grab Hoopa. We need the Hoopa, because we need to get more Houndooms going. So we'll grab ourselves two. Nah, I guess. Sneasel's going to go down, so we're going to have the bench space afterwards. So it's fine. We'll grab the two Houndooms. We need to get these Houndooms in play. So we'll put those two down. I'm not going to mail because I want to play those for like next turn. Because one, we don't have a supporter. And two, we need to get a Houndoom Spearling for next turn. Hey, look at that. So we do. I, I think I was going to pass. This hand, I just, I don't think I need to do much else with it, right? We can Silent Lab, but you know, I need to hold on to that for Giratina. Which, there you go. There it is. There is the Giratina. And he ends me. Dang, man. I, I really like this hand, but... Rip in the chat, but who knows? Maybe we'll get like a 20 times better hand. I honestly doubt it though, but you never know. You know, it's not too bad. I'll take it. Alright, so Belsi active, but he's still he's gonna take that 60 damage, and then we can knock him out. So, boom. 60, and that means Houndoom can hopefully knock him out. So, uh, went fine by me. So, make sure we bring up the Houndoom. I almost clicked Hoopa for a sec. That would not have been good. Would not have been good. And wow, we get the. Oh, oh, he's just if we whip the Houndoom, man, I don't think I'm going to play Pokemon anymore. So let's go Trainer's Mail. You know, I'm going to have. I need to dig this Houndoom. We need to take this knockout here. Because if not, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. So let's level ball. Alright, thank God we have a Sneasel. So 
all of our Houndoom are in deck, so if we don't get one off the Sycamore, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. We're gonna burn all of our balloons early on, but I think we have Igorm. Yeah, we got Igorm. So here we go. Silent Lab 2, so we can just shut down the Giratina, which he'll probably end up bringing up. So let's go with the Sycamore. Can we get Houndoom? If we whip this Houndoom... Oh, thank God. First card. Woo! That would have been... Rage inducing times 20. But we ain't stopping there. We can get rid of this and that. I mean, we don't have any draw, but just gotta hope these prizes are good. No, wait, we played the Weavile down last turn. Dang it! Oh, this hand would have been perfect. Oh, I thought we did not, or whatever. Wait, we're still knocking him out. We're still putting a lot of pressure on him, anyways. But I was like, oh, we could Weavile, move the bursting balloons, but yeah, whatever. It's all good. Can we get a supporter off this? A Kyuki would be great. Ooh. Oh, we got the Kyuki and the Sycamores. Like, boy, it's all lit in the hood. So we see the belt on the active. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. If we had a balloon on, that'd be great. But he's still not doing any, not much damage to us. Like, 70. He's going to be hot for me. one shot. So, yeah, we can drop down the Weavile. We will float that. We can even get back three of our balloons. We're going to have to do Sycamore, man. We got to start applying more balloons. But the good thing is, we can keep putting more energy down, and we can special charge and get back one of our burning energies that we lost, so now we're all good. So let's go Sycamore. How many Verse Seekers do I have left? Two. Alright, we got, we got, we're good. Hey, look at that. Alright, we are whole. Oh, this hand is amazing, man. This deck, I'm telling you, when, when this deck gets rolling, which it's easy to do, it's like, really, really good. So, we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of a Fire, and a Fire, we're gonna, he might end us to two, right? So we might as well do that grab ourselves the Mega Hound Dimio. Man, this is just, this is perfect. So we can evolve that. I'm gonna hold on to the Trainer's Mail just in case. We'll balloon him. So it's like, hey, you want to attack me? Well, hell, you're gonna get knocked out, and then I can just knock out your Giratina for the win. So we got one more Silent Lab left in our deck, so it's all good. And I don't even know if he can knock me out anyways. Like, like, how, how does he knock me out? So there's a max elixir, but it still it takes a lot to knock me out. We don't have Lysander in our prize, though. Discard, which sucks. And a Sycamore, man. If he does take this knockout, I'm going to be pretty upset. Alright, so Trainer's Mail. Oh, no. Oh, no. That... Ooh, ooh. Please don't hit. Just when I say he can't take a knockout, this man. And a belt. And a switch. Holy crap, this dude got so lucky. But we knocked out his Giratina, so who cares? I'm glad. <sighs> and he concedes. Alright, whatever. It's all good. He had a crazy turn there, and ooh, we get a Steam Siege pack. So we got some packs to open, folks. I think that'll wrap up today's video. And, uh, I mean, it was pretty lit, so tomorrow's video is going to be the viewer requested one. At the time of me recording this, I don't know what that deck will be. Whoever requested, whatever the deck I choose chose in like the comments when i comment on my last video that's the deck i'm going to use but we can buy one sun and moon pack i know it should be saving up my coins for the bombshell that's going to be the next set but i'll do that in april we don't need to do that right now so i'm gonna open up a steam siege pack first just because i did manage to pull a lapras last so i feel like i'm gonna, i'm not gonna pull any exit of this and then we can pull it some of sun and moon right so let's go that route so we'll see we'll see can we i mean i don't really need anything from steam siege i guess for volcanian would be better. Ooh, baby volcano. I'll take that. We can trade off a normal baby volcano. You know, there are some people who do like having those. So, there you go. Now we gotta find the sun and moon pack. Here we go, sun and moon. Are you gonna lit us up with the funness of Decidueye GX or Secret Rare Switch or Ultra Ball or like a GX I don't have? Let's see. Let's see. And our rare is Decidueye. Troll. I, I asked for the situation, Jax, you give me normal situation. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. I hope you guys have been enjoying the week of Mega Dex. It's been pretty fun to do. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on another PDCGO video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in more PDCGO content. And peace.